Hey guys, Ray here, and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do a night lapse with the Hero 4 cameras. This will be a two part series, the first of which will focus on the settings and the setup of your GoPro camera, and the second part will focus on the editing and post processing you need to do in order to get an awesome looking night lapse. So, the first thing you're going to need to film a night lapse is obviously a GoPro Hero 4 camera. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm using the Hero 4 Black Edition, but this will work with any of the Hero 4 cameras that have the night lapse setting on them. You will also need some sort of mount to keep the GoPro stable while recording. For this, I use the GoPro 3 way mount, but you can use any mount that will keep it stable, such as a tripod or the GoPro suction cup mount. Now for the settings you're going to use on your Hero 4 camera. First, scroll through to the time lapse setting and hit the settings button. Then from the top scroll menu, scroll through until you see night lapse, which is the one I was already on. Now, if you're looking to capture stars in a really dark scenario, you'll want to use a 30 second exposure. So most of the time, this is the exposure that I use. If you're in a city and you're wanting to capture, say, a time lapse of your city, you can have it either on auto or I'd probably put it on five seconds. The best way to test the exposure is to take a single photo and experiment with different exposures. You can use the GoPro app on your phone to preview the photo you've taken, and this will help you set up the right exposure for your time lapse. Next, leave the interval on continued, and I'm assuming you want the best quality, so leave it as 12 megapixels wide. Now for the sake of editing this footage later on, I leave ProTune turned on with normally the white balance set at 5500K, but you can again experiment with this using the single photo setting. I also leave the color profile on flat so I can bring back colors in post editing. I put the ISO limit at 400, that way I avoid grainy footage because grainy footage doesn't really get you anywhere and doesn't look good. So. 400 will give you the best result. Sharpness, the standard medium, EV comp, you don't need to worry about that. And then you're done. Now that you've got your GoPro and mount set up, you can go out and start recording your night lapse. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe so you can stay tuned for part two, which will be released next week. In part two, I'll be detailing how to edit and color correct your night lapse so it looks as good as possible. Thanks for watching everyone. Cheers.